Today's video has to do with the secret hidden tool in every combination square. I'm going to show you where it's hidden and how to use it coming up next. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and if this is your first time here, I just want to say welcome. Now today's video has to do with the combination square and there is a hidden tool and it's kind of a secret tool because few folks know that it's actually there. So I'd be willing to bet that you already know the typical uses of a combination square. Combination squares are terrific when you need to strike a 90 degree line or you need to strike a 45 degree line. It's also terrific for verifying 90 degree and 45 degree angles. And if ever you need to set the height of the blade on your table saw, it's really good for doing that as well. Not only that, you know, you can slide the head off of a combination square and use the level part as a little mini level. Now one of the cool things and lesser known things about a combination square is that you can buy heads, also known as anvils. And these anvils attach to the ruler to perform different kinds of jobs. Now the first accessory for our combination square is a center finder. And you just slide it on the rule, I tightened it up, and now I have a wooden dowel here that I'm going to find the center. First, I strike a line. Now I'm going to twist the dowel here, and I'm going to strike another line. And it's going to help me find the center of this wooden dowel. Now next we have a protractor slides on just like the center finder. Notice how I have this set at 90 degrees. Well, I can pivot it to different locations on the protractor. Or I can set it, for example, to 45 degrees. If I struck that line there, that would be 45. But say I want to fine tune it. Maybe I want to actually set it at 30 degrees, okay? And if I strike a line here, guess what? That is a 30 degree angle. You can also use it for marking dovetails. Now here's the thing. This tool is incredibly versatile. And that leads me to the secret tool in the tool. We'll check this out. I'm going to lift it up so you can see the bottom of the tool. This is it right here. Now maybe you're thinking, well, isn't that an adjustment knob like the adjustment knob here? No. No, it's not. Let me show you. What it is, is it is a scribe. So that's how you use the scribe tool that comes with your combination square in the event that you don't have a pencil or a marking knife handy. Now I want to know this, how many of you guys knew about the scribe tool? Comment in the comments below if you knew or if you didn't know. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link below the video to a combination square so you can check out a combination square with some of its accessories, okay? Now don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you'll know the moment we upload a new video because we upload twice a week. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.